Alright, so uh, I'm making this video for the IKEA Antilop high chair and how to make a footrest on your own. You can find these uh, these type of footrests on uh, Etsy and, and eBay and, and some other places that cost about 30 bucks. Um, they look exactly like this. They'll come with some uh, uh, O-rings that you can attach. But what I ended up doing, I figured it's it would be much cheaper if I make one myself. So I ended up going to Home Depot. I picked up a piece of wood. I'll show you the list in a second. Actually, I'll show it to you right now. So I ended up picking uh, the popular hobby board. Uh, you can see the dimensions on there. I'm also going to leave the link in the in the description box. So that way you guys can follow the link and uh, and just order the right part. So I ended up getting that. What I ended up doing was uh, I had Home Depot cut two pieces for me. And I have it drawn here. So I had them cut two pieces out of the four foot uh, piece of wood. 19.7 inches in total. Uh, ended up making two holes using a flat spade drill bit. Uh, one by one eighth inch. And that was approximately three inches, three inches from the corner. So up to here is about three inches. So this is where I made my first hole, initial hole, right here. And then you go on to the next step, which is cutting. So what you end up doing is you cut in a straight line uh, up to the circle, the outside, uh, the very outside of the circle that you just drilled. And you end up with something like this. Uh, depending on what tool you use, it, it come out really nice. If you use a sawzall, uh, you could probably even get away with using a, a hand saw. Because as you can see, the, the piece that I picked up is, uh, I believe, one quarter. Um, yeah, it's, it's only one quarter inch thick. So very easy to cut if you, if you don't have a sawzall. Um, I ended up actually using an oscillating tool very easy to cut and uh, very neat and then obviously in the end what I ended up doing I used a Dremel to, to smooth all the uh, all the sharp edges uh, which you can still see some but these, these are not sharp at all so in the end what you end up with is something like this pretty sturdy it's not gonna break or anything it's like it's not like the child standing on it and uh, so additional parts that I ordered um, you take a look at this list. So these two PVC, they're called Schedule 40 Female SFFP, FFPT adapter. Uh, I'll leave the link for that in the description box as well. And along with that, I ended up buying number 15 O-ring. You can find these in the plumbing section, I believe. Uh, also at Home Depot. So that's the UPC code for anybody that needs it. Again, I'll include the link for that in the description as well. So once you have this piece cut out and uh, basically, you know, smooth it out and everything, you end up with this. And then on the leg itself, what you do is you slide down two of the number 15 O-rings from the top. So as you're sliding it down, this is going to get in the way. You just press it. Roll the O-rings down, so I have one here to show you, like so. Kind of hard to do with just one hand, but uh, you get the idea. You roll these two down at a height that you need, and then this piece itself, it's, uh, you'll see in the, in the description what this piece is, really. Uh, you, you could probably get away with using another piece, but I felt this one worked the best, so I just put it down this way and as you can see if I press down I'm pressing down pretty hard it's not going anywhere so it's definitely can hold the weight uh, and then the one up top I just put that uh, just for safety because uh, you don't want the piece of wood uh, or the footrest itself or used to be a piece of wood um, dangle so that one up top it, it prevents us from dangling you can go uh another route maybe put something else over here to secure it better 
but I found this one the easiest to do. Uh, one thing I think I forgot to mention was the the flat spade drill bit that I used was one by one eighth to drill this hole. I'm pretty sure that is the size of this, maybe slightly larger than that, slightly larger. But you want it so you want it so the the piece of wood can actually go around it, okay, like that. So that's pretty much what I have. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video real quick. I'll, I'll put it together, and uh, you guys will see what the final product is. And uh, I'm not sure what else I want to do with it, but in the end, uh, you, you can buy everything that you want on, on eBay and and just put it together, or if you want to do it cheaper, like I did, I ended up spending a total of $11.61. That's upside down. So, once again, you can pause it on the screen. Take a look at what I bought. If I can get it to focus. Alright. And I'll pause it and show you the final product. All right, so we're back and put it together here. As you can see, it can handle the weight very easily. It's also uh, giving you room to adjust as your child grows, legs get longer. Obviously, you can move it down. You move the two O-rings down and you're able to slide this down. This as a result goes down. 19.7 um, I felt was a pretty good length. I kind of uh, took the, the size from uh, another piece that I saw online so 19.7 all together you go in about three inches so that's all you need for adjustment I don't think you're gonna need to go any lower but you could cut it more if you like but I think that's pretty decent right there um so a couple of things I'm gonna win mention uh, so I got Home Depot to cut the pieces for me right so the first one is the where, where I messed up and I don't want you to make the same mistake so when I measured everything out see there I, I uh, drilled a I did not uh, drill a pilot hole so what ended up happening as you can see as you start trying to make the hole with your spade drill bit it splits the wood so the best thing to do is actually not use the spade drill bit alone. What I ended up doing, not here, but on that one, I drilled a pilot hole enough for the, the tip of this the spade uh, drill bit, which kind of looks something like this, All right? There you go. So, the one that I used had uh, a screw here. So basically it screws in and it pulls the bit in and this is what cuts your circle. This, just drill a pilot hole for this before you start um, using the spade drill bit. So that way you don't end up with split wood, okay? And so then I did another trial here and then I did another trial here um this happened if uh if you push from just one one side or if you don't take your time you push just from one side see it's smoother from the side that you begin but on the other side it might be a little rough so what i ended up doing for that draw here let's go maybe just that deep and then go back to the other side and use your pilot hole to go from this side now and you'll notice that the cuts are going to come out much smoother like that okay and uh i think that's that's pretty much it and then yeah in the end what i ended up doing uh this is not sharp but it's uh you know it's a little rough so what i ended up doing i hit this with the dremel to smooth the the edges out uh you can do it with a dremel you could do it with sandpaper whatever it is that you feel like doing and that right there is the end result and I had my son use it and uh, yeah his feet were sitting on there he's sleeping now otherwise I would show you uh, yeah so that's pretty much all we got 
All right, and if there's any questions, just drop it in the comments. But I figured that I would make a video for anybody who's looking to do the, the job on their own. I've seen many tutorials, but uh, I don't think anyone goes into that much detail really on what to do. And uh, like I said, once again, here's a list of the parts. Um, you can use a saw, oscillating tool, uh, a Dremel, optional again. And those are all the parts that you need. All right. Well, good luck and enjoy.